In Live 8, Ableton upgraded the MIDI note editor to support step sequencing. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to sequence drum patterns as well as melodic instruments. I have a set with two tracks. One is an impulse kit, and the second is a simpler instance, just an analog synth sound. So let's first step sequence a drum pattern. So let's start with a fresh clip. I'll double click in this clip slot, which creates a blank clip and brings up the MIDI note editor. And to start step sequencing, you need the MIDI editor preview button turned on. Then you focus within the grid, use the left and right arrow keys to position yourself within the grid. Then if you hold down a note on your QWERTY keyboard or on your MIDI controller, and then hit the step at the same time, it inserts the step into the sequence. So I'll press a hi-hat. Okay, I'm just holding it down. And now I press my right arrow key. And then I repeat if I want to put another note at the next step. Press down the note, press the right arrow. I'm going to press right arrow twice to move over to the next bar. And I'll just keep repeating this process. So I'll hold the note, press the right arrow. And you'll notice there that it actually records your velocity as well. I hit that note very lightly and held it down and then pressed the right arrow. So let's skip ahead again to the beginning of the next beat here. Now let's hit play and see what we have. We'll fire the clip. Another feature I want to point out is that if you move through the grid once you have notes in it using the arrow keys, the notes that you've entered play as you move through the steps. Move back and forth. They play in both directions. Now I want to record a kick drum and I'm going to change the grid to quarter notes and focus inside. Go to the beginning. Here's my kick drum. I'm just pressing uh, on the MIDI controller. I'm going to press and hold right press and hold right, press and hold right. And now if I hit play. Okay, let's use the same concept with a melodic instrument. So I'm gonna arm the track, double click to create a new blank clip, turn on MIDI editor preview, focus inside the track. Before I record, I wanna show you a real time saving feature. You can actually assign a MIDI controller to the MIDI step. So that instead of using left and right arrows on your computer keyboard, you could assign it to any MIDI controller. So I'm going to go ahead and focus on this arrow. And I've assigned these using pads on my trigger finger. Now if I hit the pad on the trigger finger, it's moving back and forth through the grid. Now I'll record some melodic patterns. So let me hold down two notes on my controller. Step. Okay, now I'm going to change the grid to 30 seconds again. All right, I'm going to hold down one note. Press step. Now if I back up and hold down another note, I can enter that as well. I'm going to back up and then another note. I can also enter notes that are longer than the grid step. So if I want to hold down a note, press step, but I don't release the note, and I hit step again, and I hit step again, it extends the length of the note. So let's uh, see what this sounds like. To recap, arm a track, create a clip, Turn on MIDI Editor Preview, focus on the track, use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move back and forth through each step, or use the MIDI Map Mode to assign a controller like drum pads or buttons on a controller to move back and forth through the steps. If you're holding a key down on your keyboard and you press a step, that will be entered. And if you hold the key and press the step more than once, it will create a note that's longer than the default step size.